Welcome, everybody, to the PCC Institute for Health Professionals podcast. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Pete Wright, and I'm here with Wes Harwood, an instructor with IHP. He's also the Quality Assurance and Training Center Coordinator for American Heart Association programs with IHP, and frankly, he's an all-around great guy to boot. So thank you so much for joining us, Wes. Welcome. Uh, thank you. Good day. We are, we're going to talk about uh, the American Heart Association programs that are available within IHP and, and that you coordinate at the center there. What can you tell us about the courses from the, the AHA that are available online and, and offered through this sort of e-learning format uh, through IHP? Yes, that's a great question. This is an ever-increasingly popular format for uh, some of the students of AHA programs, and we're proud to be a participant in there. There's actually several different courses available uh, online, uh, what we call the e-learning format. Uh, some are designed for general public, uh, the layperson be it, and uh, many are for the healthcare professional because there's many courses required for healthcare professionals. So uh, the e-learning format has been structured by American Heart Association and some of its vendors to meet the needs of a broad spectrum of people. And uh, everything from CPR for uh, lay public, family, friends, etc., right on up through the advanced level courses that uh, healthcare professionals are looking for, basic life support advanced cardiac life support, pediatric advanced life support, et cetera. So uh, there's quite a broad range of courses available. You know, that, I, I think that's fascinating, this idea of doing these sorts of classes online. Can you describe the online format and, and uh, you know, maybe talk about some of the advantages and differences from the traditional in-class offerings for those who might be expecting uh, to go work on a body somewhere? Sure, that's a great question. The online format... Uh, specifically as it's defined by the Heart Association has uh, what we'll call a key. Uh, you, uh, one would purchase a key from a variety of different uh, locations. That is the online component. It's a, a coded format so that it allows a person to enter the class of their choice. Uh, it could be an individual that purchases their own individual key or it could be a group like an employer who purchases a number of keys for their uh, employees, or it could be like us, a training center, that because we offer those programs, we can order, order those keys as well and make them available to our, our clients. So there's a variety of different ways of getting a key, and that's usually at least uh, the minimum required, particularly for the lay public class. But when you get into the healthcare professionals program, the format is such that you do the online key and uh, complete that process. There's a certificate at the end once you've completed it. And then you're eligible to do parts two and parts three, which is a, a practice skills session uh, on the skills that are specific to that course, followed by a, a skills sign-off, a skills evaluation. And that can be a couple of different ways. It can be through a uh, sometimes a mannequin-based program. Or it can be with an instructor who actually checks you off on your skills. So there's three different levels, particularly at the healthcare professional level. But it's all meant to uh, be available and uh, be amenable to a person's schedule and work out really well for people who like that online burning learning environment. Well, and that, that gets to the, the uh, you mentioned the mannequin testing and the instructor-based mm -hmm. testing. How, how does that work in an online format? Is there like mm -hmm. a local facility that they end up, you know, going to if they're, say there's somebody in Pittsburgh who is, who mm -hmm. is going through a class with IHP? Mm -hmm. How does that yes. work uh, logistically? Well, logistically, again, they're, they're purchased in pieces, so it really depends. Uh, people who are local, uh, let's just say to our center here, would probably uh, opt to do the uh, certainly the key online at their their home or their business or their their office environment or the clinic environment, and and that's uh, a piece that they can do individually. And then they would arrange, and there's a variety of different locations. Again, through our training center would be a very good option for a lot of these people to come down and do the skills practice and the skills evaluation at our training center. And we'd flex and bend around their schedule to try and find a, a convenient time that works. We have set times of at least a couple times a month that are, are established that they could plug into those skills sessions. Uh, again, trying to work around people's schedules and, and 
take them away from work or their personal lives as little as possible, but still meet their needs of getting the training that they need. Okay. So in that way, it's a it's very much a hybrid program where you're doing a lot of the work on your own. And then when you have to be evaluated in some sort of physical context, you get to come to a center. Yes. Yes. And then okay. there, there are some centers who will set it up with a mannequin, depending again on the lo- level of training needed. And some will be doing it uh, with an actual instructor. Absolutely. Well, okay. So how do you handle uh, proof of completion or some sort of certification that that a student has graduated successfully? Well, the uh, certification is American Heart Association, and that's the beauty of this program is, yes, they complete the course and it has its own little certificate of completion to prove that they've done the online component. And then when you couple that with the skills, they're eligible to receive from uh, uh, again, the vendor that sold them the product, uh, either the AHA directly or through the training center that's uh, overseeing it, they'll get an actual American Heart Association course completion card. This is identical and equivalent to anything they'd receive in an in-class format. So it's good for two years. Uh, they can stay on the same two-year cycle that they probably or have been used to if they previously certified with the American Heart Association. So it's a uh, uh, again, uh, just another format to uh, get the training needed for their purposes. Well, I think that's a really important point that, you know, when you say that this card that you get is identical to what you would get from an AHA in-class uh, format. It doesn't say AHA online. It, there is no sort of diminutive of the full program. This is the full program. Uh, you know, this you are getting the goods. Exactly. And, and and that's the difference is in a traditional online class or excuse me, in class format with an instructor, you're depending on the instructor to get you through the program. You're doing some prep work, et cetera. So but you're also making a significant time commitment out of your day, whereas here on the online uh, for some people, it works much, much better to do that self-study version. Uh, with the online and uh, their actual time commitment for demonstrating their skills comes down to that skills, which makes it a much more compatible for their uh, particular schedule. But they get exactly the same results as far as the card is concerned. So uh, just to spin off that uh, that angle here, what is it that consumers who are in search of AHA certification really need to look for when they're looking for the highest quality program that supports their training and their career? I mean, you, there are a lot of uh, of institutions that are talking about AHA certification. Why, uh, you know, why why is does does the IHP program and, and implementation of AHA certification stand out? Oh, excellent question. You're you're absolutely right. The gold standard is the American Heart Association. Of course, I have a bias that way because I believe in the product that they produce. I believe in the science that they are intimately involved in. They're, as far as I'm concerned, they are the uh, the premier uh, vendor for this the science that drives what we do from the lay public on through the healthcare professional. And so, it's very careful for and very important for the consumer to look for the fact that this is an actual American Heart Association training center or training site, a vendor that uh, it may be a public enti- a private entity that's tied to a training center who is also allowed to offer these courses, but it needs to be American Heart Association. There are people who say out there that we follow the American Heart Association or we offer a similar to and a lot of different wordings, but it actually needs to be an American Heart Association site and vendor. And they can check that. If they have any doubt of the validity of who they're talking to, they can just ask, are you an American Heart Association uh, approved site or, or training center? And they can actually check with the American Heart Association if there's any doubt because, uh, again, copies are out there and uh, we, uh, having the true ma- product with a card that is actually American Heart Association, that's the value to the uh, client. The, participant is to be able to show that American Heart Association card. I know there's a lot of employers who only accept American Heart Association and the high standards that it stands for. So uh, having that card pretty much guarantees uh, your employment status. It guarantees uh, acceptance by your certifying body if you're a healthcare professional. And if you're a layperson, it also guarantees that you're getting the latest and greatest and most up-to-date and 
science proven way of helping people out. Well, and there is nothing more heartbreaking than looking at somebody who's gone through a training program and comes out not getting the official certification that they need for their career. It's just heartbreaking. So I think this is a, those are some great tips for, for uh, sort of discerning which program is right for you and finding the programs that really stand out uh, for American Heart Association certification. Uh, do the due diligence, I think, is the bottom line. Absolutely. Uh, where can somebody learn more about the American Heart Association online courses that you uh, administer uh, so wonderfully? Well, actually, there's. Uh, I'll give two references. One is the American Heart Association itself. So somebody wanted to hear more about these courses, what's available, whether it's lay public or uh, health care professional, they can go directly to the American Heart Association, www.onlineaha, all one word, onlineaha.org has a lot of information about all the courses that are available. It has links to um, finding a course in your area. So if you're in uh, a, a different part of the country than where we're at, uh, there are ways of finding courses in your area. If you're specifically interested in the courses that we offer here at the Institute for Health Professionals, uh, we have focused very heavily on, again, the healthcare professional uh, programs themselves, although we have a few others. Uh, we're helping people maintain their certifications for the AHA uh, through our programs. And the website there is www.pcc, as in Portland Community College, pcc.edu slash climb. That's our business center, climb, like climb a tree, slash health. And you'll find an AHA link there, and you can talk about all, see all our programs and find out what we offer term by term. Excellent. Wes, thank you so much for, for uh, sitting down and chatting with, with me about this program today. Uh, I, I, th I hope that people have learned a lot, of, and, and uh, those who are interested in American Heart Association uh, certification now have a better roadmap to follow for, for getting the training that works for them. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to talk about online programs. Excellent. Thanks so much. Uh, again, I've been speaking with Wes Harwood, instructor with IHP, Quality Assurance and Training Center Coordinator for American Heart Association programs with IHP. And uh, again, my name is Pete Wright. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll catch you next week on the PCC Institute for Health Professionals podcast.